been asked a couple of questions um, about all three of my tanks. So I'm going to do them in order. This is my cichlid tank. Um, they're mainly hybrids, as you can tell. And everyone asks me, why don't I get any algae? I mean, there's none on the back. There's none. On the... Well, of course I get algae. Um, but my plants that are in here, now remember, cichlid tanks don't normally come with greens or plants. Anyway, so these came from a tank of a friend of mine uh, who was shutting it down. He had four left, um, which was um, an orange, a sort of grey coloured one, which, which looked very unwell. Anyway, after the transition, there was only two left. This is from that. Now, if you look at the quality, here you go, look. These guys are thriving. Now, the key with cichlids is to have little hiding places, okay? Now look, these plants all look ill, don't they? But they're not, and I see, I don't know if you can see, on that one there, there is a new leaf, okay? And that's how these go, so you have to prune them. I haven't pruned these in a while, I've not been well. Um, here, look. Now, Anubis has something, or Nubius I should say, has something called a rhizome, which is that long sticky bit there. And that's how I keep it. So this tank is perfectly balanced because the plants basically outcompete the algae and the filtration is doing a full cycle. So every now and again you'll see nitrogen um, bubbling up that comes from the nitrates and as you can see the fish are loving it in there uh, the second question I had about this is my filter why do I have two filters running I have two filters running in here for two reasons the first reason is I do tend to start up new tanks and what I use is that filter to keep the tank going okay so I can take the other filter away it's already cycled it's perfect okay and the other reason is that when I clean the filter, I don't break the cycle. I can clean the filter 100%, start from scratch if I wanted to, and I still have another filter going. And the other question was, what do I set my temperatures to? On this one, it's 25.5, because my ambient temperature in this house is around 21, so it never really dips. You'll very rarely see that light on. And there you go. Okay, so that is the cichlid tank. I did have a question, um, which was quite unique. Why don't I have a thermometer on my tank? There's not one thermometer. Because this is my thermometer, my hand. I can tell. Um, years of having um, fish tanks, you sort of get used to it. I had a fish shop, which obviously I got used to as well. There's a couple of scratches on this tank now, which is a bit annoying, but you're going to get it, especially when you're using sand. Why do I use sand? People say, how do I clean the sand? Well, I clean the sand the same as you clean gravel. The only difference is I hover about a centimetre above. And there's a cichlid having a, a chew on the plant. That's a very nice colour. Okay, that's the cichlid tank. What we'll do, we'll have a, look at, a quick look at the turtle tank now. And there they are. A bit camera shy, these guys. Now, in here, biosynosis, not worth it, too much hassle, and does cause a lot of dirt in the tank, as you can see. Um, I do have a cuttlefish in there, or a cuttle bone, I should say. And the reason I have that in there is because they need to maintain their shell. That's why I've also got another light in there. And the other light is purely for UVB. These guys very rarely come out. They're musk turtles. They very rarely come out of the water. When they do, they're out for about 10 minutes and then they go back in. They are very messy animals. So if you're considering these, please be aware that you're gonna need some heavy filtration and a maintenance regime to match. But they're cool. Now, the two questions that I've had about this, what do I set the temperature to? Well, that in there is set to 17. They do like the colder water. <clears throat> and I do believe 
that they're if you adjust the temperature during the summer months you can produce eggs providing you've got a male and female and uh, there we are there they are and the other question I had about them is what source of calcium do I give them because obviously they need the shell well that's your answer there also a good quality food like pet um, I use pets at home I think it's called um, they've got a, a great pellet which has all the vitamins and everything you need in there and there you have it good looking fish well good looking turtles I did have fish in here actually um, that someone did ask why I took them all out well the reason I took the fish out is because I was selling all the uh, Endler hybrids um, just to go back to guppies and then I'm going to resurface with um, some more Endler hybrids I'll show you that tank in a minute oh also someone asked me um, about the filtration surface agitation is very important for gas exchange so always move your move your surface of your water this is a 406 that was originally on that tank and the 306 is still on that tank now this is my maintenance or hospital tank um, when I need it or it's my grow out tank now as you can see there are a lot of guppies in there um, and there's a couple of male endlers now what's going to happen is they're going to breed and you're going to get a fish which looks like that red one there which is a large endler there you go look at that now the reason I do that is because with these tanks you've got to be very careful especially with these fish um, that they don't infect anything so when I get a new fish I'm going to put it in here they're going to breed and I'm going to take the ones that breed in that tank out and that's the best way. Now, again, I've got two filters running. I don't know if you can see that one. That's the Tetra 1000N. And that's the Eheim pickup. Let's get these out of the way. Now, why do I have two filters? I've been testing filters for a very long time. And I've come up with two that I think are the best on the market. The one is the Fluval uh, U-Series. Very, very good filter. Very good for keeping... Um, Biomedia in there and you can swap that out to seed another filter or another tank and this one just moves so much water and debris I mean obviously you've got to keep it off the bottom okay and as you can see these guys are extremely healthy and so that was the question I had why do I have to anyway and as you can see I always have Anubius um, and some other plants that I just chuck in there and they are starting to really flourish. There's also Porthos, which I put in some of my tanks. I'm not a keen fan of it. It doesn't do a great deal for the tank, but it's good to uh, to keep some nitrates down. Now, nitrates are good for tanks, especially if you've got plants. Um, there's also two cichlids in here. Now, I recently bought the cichlids, um, but they didn't agree with the cichlids in my other tank, so they're in here at the moment. They don't. They very rarely hurt any of the other fish. Um, I believe there are coolie loaches in here, but you very rarely see coolie loaches. And there you go. So any questions, drop me a line. Comment, whatever you need to do. And I'll give you an answer. Also, someone asked me how you tell the male and female guppy. The male, the little fin at the back, just behind where their bum would be. If it's pointy, okay, if it's very pointy, they are male. If it's triangular in shape, they are female. Are they a good starter fish? Mm, no, you feel disappointed with them. Um, some people like them purely because you get money. I mean, you can get money from these. Not a lot. A lot of people don't like live breeders. But what I mean by money is that once you have guppies they never die they literally just reproduce so quickly every 28 days and they can hold eggs for up to two years i think it's a year and a half actually to two years but anyway um and so there you have it that's my update for this year well for this month um i will be doing bi-yearly updates on all the tanks and what i found out and any questions this is all about a form of questioning you do get some lovely little ones in there look at that <laughs> Guys, take care. Thanks for watching.